In this episode of In The Mix, we're celebrating volunteers and we're finding out all about what they do. So today is our volunteer conference, uh, we've got around 40 of our volunteers that have come down to East London and we're going to have uh, a day of some really interesting talks and we're going to get a chance to meet our volunteers, socialise with them, get to know them a bit better, hopefully have a, a fun day celebrating their contribution to the mix. So we've got volunteers from all across our services here today, we've got helpline volunteers, we've got counselling volunteers, community volunteers that manage our articles and forums, basically all the people that keep our services running. Um, as well as giving up their time to volunteer for us, they've come down this afternoon to actually celebrate that, uh, that contribution to us. So the word virginity, being a virgin, it's like medieval times talk, it's from being pure. So imagine before Jeremy Kyle, before paternity <laughs> tests, where we couldn't make sure our children were our children. The only way we could guarantee it was from making sure our partner that we're in a relationship with had only ever had sex with us, but really it was about women, making sure that women had only ever had sex with this male, so that my children are definitely mine, because my flock of sheep aren't going to anyone else. I want my massive flock of sheep to only go to my family, so I need to protect my family. I need to make sure that my wife's a virgin. So women who are virgins are worth more, because I can guarantee them my children. So that's where the worth got connected to it, to virginity. My name's Glenn. I'm a sexual health youth worker, so I deliver sex ed to young people in schools and also I deliver training to professionals. So today I did a workshop on sex ed and relationships. So I delivered my year nine workshop to the volunteers and members of staff of The Mix. It was really fun, I really enjoyed it. It was a bit out of my comfort zone at, at, at times because it was uh, my young people's workshop to adults. I'm not sure how they were gonna take it, but they were really gentle with me. And um, yeah, hopefully they really enjoyed it. It was laughter at bits and yeah, I think people got a lot out of it. So up next, we've got a very important part of our service. It's our youth panel. Today was all about bringing the panel together to really decide what they want the panel to be about. The aim is to really help inform the mix that we are responding to young people and we are providing an organisation service that is for young people, by young people. How do we make sure we support holistic young people? How do we make sure we have great volunteering opportunities for young people? What do they need? Uh, and what's that youth voice piece going to look like? How do we really get what's going on with us out into the real world? Cool, we're going to come back together and if it's okay just to share uh, what you guys came up with those five things, I'm really intrigued. We're all veggies or vegans or vegetarians or yeah. like yeah. green people. Yeah. <laughs> um, we all like How I Met Your Mother, the television show. Okay, cool. Um, what's the other one? Finding Dory. Finding Dory. Oh, and we've all got our ears pierced. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what activities do you think this panel should be involved in? And then, what influence do you think this panel should have on the mix? So you guys, you've got the insights. You are our youth voice. We're trying to embed our kind of young people in every aspect of our service. So the only way we can develop and know what we're doing is if we are asking and checking with you guys. We just put That's fine, that's fine. So you soak that up, you soak that up, but yeah. We're looking at Instagram. I'm setting up an account for the mix youth panel, just the youth panel, um, so that we can look at stories and real time engagement and posting mm -hmm. images on the event as it happens. Make like a calm, safe space for people to like come mm -hmm. and learn about the mix, like 
yeah. they can approach us and like obviously we can give them freebies and stuff. And pens. Like, pens. <laughs> pens. <laughs> Stock up on the pens. And like we could do like takeovers of like the actual the mix itself, Instagram yeah. stories and stuff like if we were at the meeting we could like if we're talking about something we could be like we're talking about this nice. um like message us or comment if you have an input or something like yeah. that you know yeah. um it was really interesting hearing everyone's point of view because everyone's really insightful and um, we're all quite diverse so it's really cool Uh, my name is Seven. Um, I'm here uh, participating in some of the workshops going on at the, vo uh, at the volunteering day. Um, I started working with the mix recently, volunteering on uh, on the boards as a moderator. Once a week, which I hope to make a little bit more often, um, I volunteer for a few hours on the boards. Uh, now the mix boards, what they do is they offer a place for young people to talk about um, any issue or anything on their mind. Um, and so as a moderator, I'm making sure that that's safe, um, that there's any intervention if necessary, and that it's appropriate. Um, but also, it means I just get to really connect um, with the community th that the mix is building and the support structure. There are so many things that we as humans can do, and there are so many things that we don't do that we can do. And I think by volunteering, we are enabling ourselves to take hold of more of those opportunities and more of our own skills, grow ourselves and grow the people around us. That means that we are more able and our communities are more able to really propel ourselves forward and get to where we want to be. So up next we've got a little introduction video to volunteering within The Mix, hope you enjoy it. The Mix is a charity that supports people under the age of 25 on any issue. The main thing with The Mix is that we are kind of really for young people, by young people and you know we're not here to tell people what to do, we're, we're, the main thing is providing that space for people to really work out what's going on for them at the moment. We have a helpline that people can contact and they can talk to people via phone or email or web chat. We have our own counselling team, we have our own community. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways that young people can get support on any issue they might be facing. We have a really great pool of volunteers that help help us reach, you know, kind of one in four young people in the UK at the moment. Um, but we really want to kind of try to expand that and make that, um, you know, as, as strong an offer as possible, you know, both for our service users, our young people, but also for our volunteers that really power what we do. It's very easy to be a volunteer. Uh, it's a very short application process. Through our training programmes, we offer qualifications. Um, and also more informal, um, you know, accreditations of, um, of people's skills. So this evening we have a lady called Ruth coming in from Self Harm UK, and she's going to be giving uh, us a talk on their organisation. So one of the really cool things that we do is we signpost young people to uh, local and national organisations for arranging these external talks, so that we can actually hear directly from them what they provide to young people, how they work and how they might be relevant to our service users. I'm Ruth Ayres, I'm um, Project Manager for Self Harm UK. I'm uh, training some volunteers for the mix. Uh, it's an essential knowledge course around self harm. What happens when we experience pain is there's a release of endorphins to try and help us forget what that was like and it's that that, that, that becomes addictive. And I decided to start volunteering at the mix so that I can gain the confidence to be able to help people in the field that I want to go into, which is mental health. It's incredibly rewarding. It can be quite difficult when you're hearing um, people struggling, but um, it's incredibly rewarding to be able to give them some options and of what they might be able to do to make themselves start to feel better. And now I will introduce you to our guest speaker, Johnny, Johnny Benjamin, you may or may not have heard of him, but he is an award-winning uh, mental health campaigner um, with a few letters after your name now as well, he has an MBE. So I will say no more and let Johnny do his thing and hand over to him now. Yeah, one in four people in the UK have a mental health issue um, at, at one point. So uh, that's now changed actually, that's now one in three. There was um, a research done by the, was it the Mental Health Foundation, I think it was, at the end of last year, that's now saying it's one in three people um, who suffer with a mental health issue at any point. 
Um, so obviously mental health is something that, you know, we know affects so many people. And um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you a bit about my own journey uh, with my own mental health. I always uh, struggled to fit in in primary school. I always felt different to everyone else uh, growing up and I spent a lot of time by myself. I struggled even more in the secondary school, in this really big secondary school. Um, and it was at this age that I started to hear a voice in my head. I kind of assumed that, you know, everyone had a voice in their heads. Um, because if I was hearing a voice, then I, well, I, I thought it was normal. So I thought everyone must be hearing a voice as well. I was left with these really low moods and um, I just didn't understand what was, what was going on. It didn't, it didn't make sense to me why I was feeling so low. It scared me and I wasn't gonna talk. I wasn't gonna talk about what was going on in my head. So as well as the low moods, the voice in my head changed. Um, it became this uh, very aggressive and uh, tormenting voice. And the voice started to challenge me to do things. Um, I'd always have to do things in threes. So the voice would say to me, pick this up, put it down three times or, or move uh, three spaces. And I felt I had to do these things every time the voice told me to do things because um, I began to believe the voice was the devil. And um, I, I, I needed to do these things or else I would be punished or someone that I loved would be, would be punished. And life became really difficult. Um, but, as I said, I, I was doing so well at school, I, I didn't want people to see that I was struggling, so I, I, I tried to keep it uh, uh, buried. Suicide was at the forefront of my mind now because it was, it was too difficult, living with the, the low moods and, and the voice telling me to do all these things. Um, it, was, it was really tough. And it was, it, was, it was a massive weight off my shoulders when I could finally talk about my mental health and, and say that I was gay. It was such a weight off my shoulders. Um, and that was the real turning point for me was when I could just be myself. I didn't have to worry about hiding anything anymore. That was, yeah, that was, that was the real change for me. And um, after that, I began to feel more myself again. And when I began to feel more myself, I said to myself, I wanna, I wanna help people. I, wanna, I, don't wanna, I don't want people to go through what I went through. So I was here today at the MIX Volunteer Conference and uh, I was just giving a, a talk about my own experience um, through mental illness and uh, also touching on suicide as well and um, it's been great, it's been great. I mean, um, I had a really great response and just getting to talk to the volunteers and, um, you know, hearing about their passion and hearing about uh, what they do. Um, I think it's really important because, you know, so much of this work is often done kind of um, in silo and it can be quite isolating sometimes and you can feel kind of separate from people. So I think, you know, a day like today when everyone comes together and, you know, people share and people talk and people learn from each other, I think that's so important.